These peanut farms are very important to the supplemental protein of the villagers' diets. Once the farms are established, they are easily spread and cultivated. NEA has been helping the local people learn how to efficiently use the land and produce other crops like corn. This too is a staple in the Ghanaian diet. There is another type of food that most people don't think of when they think of practical protein, but NEA has found that it is. Ostriches lay up to 50 eggs a month. One ostrich egg can feed 12 people comfortably. The ostrich eggs have significantly increased protein in the local diets. project two in Carpenter here is just a replica of what we have, we've done in Janga. Only here we are refining and fine-tuning uh, a lot of the things. Uh, however, we've added a few more things here, like the fish hatchery. Uh, it's a very uh, new thing. Uh, and, and it's also because our people, we feel that they need a lot of protein. They, they, they never will kill their sheep or goat to um, eat but they always buy fish. They will, if you give them money, they will go and buy fish. So we thought if we can raise fish, um, we, we will then get protein into their hands. People told Dr. Mensa that the fish hatchery couldn't be done, that it wouldn't work in this type of climate, but through God's grace, it is flourishing. Fish are in abundance. In this area, they breed the fish and raise them far enough along until they can be placed in the large ponds for harvesting at which point the workers get them out with nets. Interestingly, these tilapia are perhaps the same type of fish that the disciples caught in the Sea of Galilee. The fish hatchery is not the only new and successful project NEA has been working on. Shea butter, a type of butter made from the shea nuts that fall off these trees, is also bringing in a large profit for the village women. After they boil down the shea nuts, they extract the oil and hand mix it. Then they send it off to manufacturers who use the butter in bath and body lotions all around the world. Last year alone, they pulled in one million U.S. dollars. Despite all of these successes, NEA has run into some challenges. Since NEA is a Christian organization working in a land steeped in witchcraft and idol worship, keeping the gospel alive and well is a bit of a struggle. Chief Solomon of Carpenter shares his thoughts. We face a lot of challenges in the Christian. Supposing it's not raining, the whole community will wish that if I sacrifice to God, it will rain. They expect me as a leader to always do sacrifice for them anytime. Therefore that the chief can command for rains. They feel that when we said this will happen, it will happen. But we are also trying to advise them that we are not God. God created the heaven and earth and God made us the chief and it's God we must save. Even though these traditions threaten to cripple the villages and keep them from meat, the church still grows. Daily, people come to Christ and abandon the idols and witchcraft that threaten to tear apart the communities. The work of the people, especially the younger people of NEA, is making all of this success possible. This success inspires everyone, including Dr. Mensah, to believe that there is a bright future. Service, uh, I think, uh, that's one of the things too that I'm seeing more and more that some of our students here are beginning to have that concept of service, that having a good education means to serve our communities and not for ourselves having ties and becoming ministers and becoming thieves and big rich people and stay in the big cities, but that they are thinking of service. They can serve with compassionate heart that people can actually look at our people and say, my goodness, I'm really suffering. Uh, my people are suffering, but I could do something. If Dr. Mensa has been able to do this, uh, I should be also be able to contribute to it. So that, that's my future.
that these young ones will take over and do a lot more than what we see now. So, what is happening in northern Ghana? Increasingly, the people are walking in the light of God. The same God that created the heavens and the earth is changing the lives of individuals who are, one by one, changing the landscape of northern Ghana. Oh, 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 o